Struggling to cut out custom cookie shapes that aren't wonky? Use the tips and tricks in this video to make hand cutting cookies just a little bit easier. To begin, you're going to need a template. There are a few different kinds of templates that we're going to cover in this video. A paper template, a laminated template, a plastic template, and a projected template. Let's talk about the paper template first. Print or draw your image on a piece of paper. Use scissors to cut around the edge of the shape. Try to cut smoothly because this will be the outline for your cookie. Once you have the shape entirely cut out, grab some non-stick cooking spray or just plain vegetable oil and rub it across the front of your paper template. Turn the template over and repeat. The oil mixed with the paper will make the template stronger. It will also make it gently adhere to the cookie dough when you're cutting it out, which is perfect for hand cutting cookies. A laminated template is very similar to the paper template. Again, draw or print your image onto a piece of paper. Use scissors to cut the image out. Place the image on the counter or table and cover with packing tape. Make sure that the edges of the tape go past the edges of the image. Flip the paper image over and again cover with packing tape. Gently press the tape onto your template to smooth out any bubbles and to make sure that the tape sticks to itself. Then again, cut out the image with scissors. For a plastic template, we're again going to start with an image printed or drawn onto a piece of paper. Cut it out, again, making sure that you cut it out as smooth as you would like it to ultimately be for your cookie. Grab the lid of a whip topping container or other disposable plastic container. You could also use a plastic file folder. Trace the image that you've just cut out of paper with a Sharpie onto your piece of plastic. This template definitely takes more time than the other two templates we've talked about so far, but the benefit of this template is that it lasts much longer so you could keep it for many hand cut cookies if you like. Once you have the image completely traced, use a very sharp knife. I'm using a pen blade here. Use a sharp knife to cut the image out of the lid. Obviously be very careful when using sharp blades of any kind. When you finish cutting the image out, pop it out of the lid. You're now able to use either the plastic template that you've just cut out, or conversely, you could use the outside edges of the plastic lid as your template. A projected template is definitely the least work out of all of the templates. Simply draw or print your image onto a piece of paper and cut out. How you prepare the dough also makes a big difference when hand cutting cookies. I roll out my cookie dough the same way I would if I was cutting any cookie shape. I personally like to use the dough easy rolling mat, but you can roll the dough out however you normally do. Once the dough is rolled out as thick as you like it, place it onto a piece of parchment paper and place the sheet of dough on a baking tray into the freezer. When I'm hand cutting many cookies, I like to roll smaller bits of dough at a time so that when I take them out, I cut two or three at a time and they don't all thaw before I use the entire sheet of dough. I'll also stack five to six sheets of dough at a time onto the baking sheet. Place it in the freezer for at least 20 minutes or up to an hour. We want the dough to be firm when we cut out the cookies. How you cut out the cookies is also extremely important. I'm gonna place my paper template onto the very chilled dough. As I said before, the oil on the template helps it kind of adhere to the cookie dough. It's not gonna stick and be sticky, but it's kind of like Velcro and it'll stay on the dough. I'm using a pen blade knife. Any sharp, very thin knife will work. Pen blades are my personal favorite, but I've also used a paring knife in the past and it's worked well also. So you're going to cut around the edge of the template using your very sharp knife, make up and down cutting motions. Try not to drag through the dough or press the dough sideways as you cut around the edges. Sometimes I'll use different knives for the different details and the outlines of the cookie shape. 
Once you've cut out the entire cookie, peel the dough away from the edges and lift the cookie dough. Since it's firm, you can hold it or you can use an offset spatula. But if you leave the template connected to the dough, you'll be able to smooth any rough outside edges that you need to before placing it on the cookie sheet. This is why I don't like hand cutting cookies because I'm a little bit neurotic when it comes to the exact shape that I want. So place the cutout on the baking sheet before lifting the template off of the cookie. It's the same idea with all of the templates that we've used. The laminated template doesn't seal as well to the cookie, so you'll definitely have to hold that down with one finger while cutting out the, the cutout. So again, you're using an up and down motion to cut around the edge of the template. You can see it better from the side as I move up and down and sideways, as opposed to pulling down or dragging around the template. Just up and down, speed it up just a little bit because I know you don't want to watch 10 minutes of me cutting out a globe cookie. So again, sometimes I'll use different blades for different parts of the template. And once it's cut out, here's another option. You can use the offset spatula to lift it up out of the dough. And again, I'm using my fingers, keeping the template on the dough itself until I put it on the baking sheet. It keeps the image from it getting, or the shape from getting wonky, and it also just allows me to smooth it out perfectly. Place it on the baking sheet and remove the template. These laminated templates also, keep, all of them keep for a really long time. If you're using the paper template with the oil on it, just blot it with a paper towel before storing it. So again, you can use the outside of the plastic template or the inside of the plastic template for making your cookie. I'm gonna cut around the outside of the inside of the template for this video. So using my handy dandy pen blade knife that I'm clearly obsessed with, I'm going to cut around the edge of this candy cutter template because the world just doesn't have enough candy cookie shapes. Again, the plastic template doesn't seal as well to the cookie as the paper and oil template does, but it does work pretty well. So I'm going to lift it up being gentle in some of the spaces where I maybe didn't get. If you don't want to use the template to smooth out the edges, you can clearly do that too. I'm not gonna boss your hand cutting. So smooth out the edges and place it on the baking sheet. You can also use a spatula or toothpicks to smooth out any rough edges or any places you might have missed. With the projected template, I'm putting it in my copy cake. You can also use it with um, a Pico and then you don't even have to print anything out. Um, also, I believe there's a Camera Lucida app for your phone you can use as well. With a projector, sometimes I'll scratch the design in the surface before cutting it. Because sometimes, you know, your hand gets in the way and it's hard to see what you're doing. So again, sometimes I'll scratch it and then I'll come back and I'll cut it all the way through. weirdly fascinated watching myself do this. So peel the edges of the dough away from the cookie. This one has a lot of sharp edges, which I can't get to. So I wanted to show you with a toothpick, I can kind of get into those little crevices and pull the dough away. Because again, I'm neurotic about shapes. You can also use the spatula to kind of get into those corners as well and to make them a little bit sharper if that's the way you want them. Oh, see, just like that. So place these on the baking sheet and then bake like you normally would. And if all else fails, if these don't turn out exactly the way you want them to when you take them out of the oven, you can also use a microplane grater to kind of shave the edges of the cookie into the exact shape that you want. Good luck hand cutting.